what um, what's your advice to folks that are caregiving for someone um, if the um, if the person with the disease is aware of the fact that this COVID, you know, we're in a period that's different. I mean, how how much should they how much should they share about the situation as means to explain why we're not going out? I mean. I always think that's a tough, you know, that's kind of a fine line you walk is how much information to be sharing and talking about it. It is a fine line and I think it's absolutely dependent on the stage of disease that the person with memory loss is in. And so for somebody who is in the earlier stages, they're absolutely able to handle information um, maybe as much as the caregiver can handle information. So, or care partner, we call them at that stage. So, um, as people progress, though, you will find that their ability to process information and make sense of it is impaired. And what I say is use their response as your guide to know how much to tell a person. So if you try telling them there's a virus going around and we have to stay inside and they respond with disbelief or they repeatedly forget it and ask you again and again, why are we staying inside? Why can't we go out to the grocery? Why can't we see our grandkids? Then I think you start figuring out that they can't process that information anymore. And then you have to go into a different way of explaining things. And often that's using either therapeutic fibbing, which is not the same as lying, it's it's really figuring out what can you as the caregiver say that gives the person you love peace of mind. And so you use therapeutic fibbing and you use distraction. So you might say, we'll be able to go out soon, I hope. In the meantime, could you help me set the table? In the meantime, could you help me fold the laundry? In the meantime, wh why don't we work on a puzzle? So using that distraction, getting their mind off, off the things that are troubling to them as quickly as you can, and getting them engaged in some kind of activity that's meaningful to them and will hold their attention. It's not an easy thing to do, but you get better at it with practice. <laughs>